Hey everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of fetal urinary tract dilatation or UTD in short, which commonly known as hydronephrosis. A young female patient came for a routine third trimester ultrasound scan. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the fetal right kidney showing the dilatation of the renal pelvic LCL system. You can see the urinary bladder here and the heart pumping. So we want to go for the transverse section for the measurement that we need to say it as a hydronephrosis. Here you can see the transverse section and this is the right kidney and this is the left one in cross section with a dilatation of the renal pelvic cell system. Both looks dilated but the anthropos to renal pelvis diameter will give the decision. It might be renal vasculature also so we have put the color doppler and on color doppler you can't see any flow within this lumen but you can see normal renal vessels adjacent to it. So we have checked the measurement and though it looks like a bilateral hydronephrosis, we have seen the anteroposterior right renal pelvis diameter was around 8.4 mm and the left one was around 5.8 mm. We have measured the gestational age and it was a 37 plus weeks of gestation. After 28 weeks of gestation, the normal anteroposterior renal pelvis diameter is less than 7 mm. So this patient is having unilateral hydronephrosis, not the bilateral, though the left one looks prominent. So here's the picture of the right kidney in longitudinal and transverse section with a dilated renal pelvis. Here again the measurement and you can see the anteroposterior right renal pelvis diameter is around 8.4 mm indicating unilateral urinary tract dilatation. So in summary, a 37 plus week sized single life intrauterine fetus is noted with unilateral dilatation of the renal pelvic cell system. The anteroposterior renal pelvis diameter of the right kidney was 8.4 mm, which put it into the urinary tract dilatation antenatal category 1, that is UTD A1, which suggests a low risk case. Do you want to know more about the urinary tract dilatation and its categorization? Tell me on the comment box below if you want one video about that. Now, the take home message the mild urinary tract dilatation is often seen in our regular scan and usually transient. So a follow-up scan is always recommended. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.